Uh, Martina, I just wanted to ask you quickly before we let you go about Boris Becker, uh, someone you know incredibly well, uh, who's now in prison. I mean, an extraordinary fall from grace. Yes, uh, Boris had had some really bad advice and then he made some really bad decisions and uh, now he's paying a, as high a price as you can. I just hope that he'll be okay and that he'll come out all right on the other side. Uh, my heart goes out to him and his family. He made some really bad mistakes um, and, you know, he's paying for them dearly. So I just hope he'll be okay. It is an extraordinary situation, isn't it? I mean, I know Boris quite well. Uh, I have an interview, yeah. the first interview with his, his wife, Lily, tomorrow, actually, on this show. Uh, it's, a, it's a tragedy for them, obviously. A lot of people don't feel any sympathy for him. They think that he, you know, he, he, he did what he did and he committed financial fraud and he, he should pay his, his price. But he was such a, an idol in the sport of tennis, it just seemed extraordinary. He's now behind bars. Yeah, I think the first time it happened, I, think, I don't think it was his fault as much as it was of his advisors. But he got let off uh, because of who he is. And the, but because of who he is, I think they paid more attention to what he was doing. And then the second time it happened, it definitely was on him. It seems from what I've been reading, uh, he should have been smarter than that. But, uh, you know, he didn't hurt anybody. He was just trying to save his own property. But that doesn't excuse, obviously, uh, shirking taxes, etc. So it's just... Uh, you know, as tennis players, we depend on other people to tell us uh, what's right, what's wrong, lawyers, uh, CPAs, etc. I've gotten some really lousy advice over the years, nothing illegal, but, uh, you know, lost, lost some money because you depend on these people to do their job so you can do yours. Um, not to excuse what, what Boris did. And again, he's paying dearly and uh, I just hope his family survives it intact. And most of all, Boris does because, uh, yeah, this is really rough.